are here because we heard that uh, Honorable Mumbi Piri uh, unceremoniously was picked up by police and uh, we rush here to just try and find out. Of course, uh, we have uh, the leader of opposition, Honorable Brandon Mundubire here, member of parliament from Malole, Honorable Kalimi. Uh, possibly, maybe we first of all try to get a comment from the, you know, the lawyer so to understand what is going on because when we attempted to get in, the police, uh, <laughs> the new dawn police are telling us even Honorable Mumbipiri's lawyers have uh, not been allowed, like Honorable Brand Mundubire, to enter on the basis that uh, there was already one council. But uh, every citizen has a right to determine how many lawyers they, they want. They can even have 100 lawyers if they so wish. And that is what the law provides. But then the council, maybe you can tell us what's happening. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so basically what, uh, what, what happened was that uh, I think earlier in the day, we had written to the police, we were supposed to be at the police um, for an interview. But we wrote to the police and indicated to them that um, uh, our client was unwell and we presented a sick note uh, to them. And indeed she is unwell, she had been to the hospital. But after we presented that sick note, uh, at about 16, 17, uh, they proceeded to her house. They found her at the house and uh, they found her with uh, a person that had come to see her on the basis that she was unwell. And they said they needed to come with her to the police and of course she did not uh, object to that. So she started off this way. When she arrived here, we equally arrived. And she was informed that she was being cautioned and uh, a one and caution statement was taken. And in the one and caution statement, she basically told them that uh, the murder of Lawrence Banda that they are talking about um, is an incident that is not known by her. She was not there, in fact. So they said they have to travel with her to Kaoma uh, in the night. We questioned why they want to travel in the night. They said, well, with them, they want to travel well, regardless of uh, what our position is. So we requested then that uh, a few necessities be packed, uh, that is to say um, things that she could, uh, she could use, some water, um, a few clothes to change. They said they would allow her to pick that, but uh, they would not allow her to go to the house and pick. She has to send someone. So someone has gone to pick those things for her. Once they come through, at whatever time, the police are adamant and they are saying they will travel to to Kaoma, and whatever they want to go and do in Kaoma really is, a, is an issue that they have not explained. So we we'll wait and see what happens uh, therefore, and uh, we will we'll follow closely and see how we can uh, defend our clients' rights and how best we can, we can get over this hurdle. It is a hurdle that we, uh, we have just for a moment, that all these things indeed do come to pass, they go away. Yes, thank you very much. Um, we just got a call that uh, uh, our client, Anagum Bupiri, was uh, here at uh, the service headquarters. And uh, obviously we came to try and understand why she was here. Uh, unfortunately, as you heard from my colleagues, uh, we've not been allowed to see our client. Uh, you know, uh, the, the police are arguing that uh, there's already one lawyer presenting her. Uh, which we feel is a very uh, a statement to make. Yeah, so we are still here, uh, you know, insisting that we must see our client because we want to understand you know, why she's in court and more so to understand why they would want to travel with her uh, throughout the night uh, against her wish. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted as we, as we go. Well, well, uh uh, uh, the fortunate circumstance is the leader of opposition has said and the lawyer is quite very certain that we can't respect human rights that uh, we can arrest someone who is not feeling okay and I don't know how urgent is this we, we are living we are living in a country where there is only an animal farm where more animals are more important than that. this is not acceptable we need to accept human rights 
and the life of Mumbi Piri, in case anything happened, the police will be held accountable because they are behaving like cadres, and to this, this is not acceptable. We we'll call upon the police and the police inspector, general. Let him be very, very professional. We know maybe they're getting instruction from an invisible hand, which is not very, very fair. President Taka in the promised the Zambian people that is going to rule by the law and definitely is not going to follow the kangaroo law. He promised the Zambian people to say he's going to rule this country following the law. So what is happening is just something else. Mumbipiri is not above the law. If indeed Mumbipiri did something which is an offense under the Zambian constitution, then no. she's supposed to face the law. But honestly, to, to bang her well, to bang her well, as if she's a pig and transporter in Tukahoma at night, it's not acceptable. The, the health and the life of this person who has saved the Zambian people at a very high position, contributed to the nation, the nation development, and you treat him like a donkey, this is not acceptable. We call upon the Inspector General to behave and be very professional. Right. I, I think uh, uh, it's very unfortunate, I think, uh, as it has already been uh, said, only to reiterate the uh, manner in which PF leaders, PF officials are being treated. Uh, and we know this is all to try and feed into the narrative that the UPND and their leader, Mr. Kandichi, has been preaching across the globe. Unfortunately, human rights have been violated, and it looks like the UPND government is getting away with it. Chileko was, you know, um, tortured uh, and, uh, you know, treated in a manner that is inhumane. Even when the court made pronouncements, rulings, or orders, the court defied that. And uh, now we are having a situation where, regardless of her condition, health condition, they have you know, picked Honorable uh, Mumbipiri in a very barbaric manner and now being transported to, to, uh, to Kaoma. So we hope that uh, the human rights will be respected.